So lately I've been making a ton of gaming PC build guides like a ton and one of the most consistent comments that you guys have been asking me is that you want to see a full setup video and not just the gaming PC build. So lately I've been tracking down some really good peripherals and today I have what I think is the best gaming monitor under $200. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today we're gonna to be checking out the $180 Dell 2719 and talking about why I think this is the best gaming monitor under $200. And if you're new here and you wanna see more PC setup or PC building videos, then hit that subscribe button down below and also that notification bell, that way you never miss an episode. But before we get into it, let me quickly pay some bills. Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the number one spot, at least in my opinion, to create a website if you're looking to boost your online presence. Squarespace is perfect for people like me and chances are probably like you because I have absolutely zero real website building experience and Squarespace makes it super easy to do with their award-winning templates. If you're looking to create a website maybe for your PC flipping business or maybe consolidate all of your social media links for you streamers to one spot, then I highly recommend using them as your all-in-one website building platform. Platform. I actually transferred my third party domain to Squarespace, yet another awesome feature by the way that was super easy to do because I wanted to take advantage of their templates that transform really well to mobile, their excellent customer service, and honestly I just wanted to get a clean looking website up and running quickly. I'll show you guys my final website in an upcoming video, but if you want to take my word before that, then head on down to that first link in the description, squarespace.com ctt, to score yourself a 14 day free trial and 10% off your next subscription. Alright, so let's just jump right into it and check out these specs because I think you'll quickly realize why this is such a great value gaming monitor. The Dell D2719 HDF is rocking a 27 inch 1080p 144Hz 2 millisecond response time free sync panel all for a seriously budget price of just 180 bucks. There's so many angles to attack that from but I think we're going to start with size even though I have been told that size doesn't really matter but yeah it's not that difficult to find a 144Hz monitor at this price point but one for 27 inches? not gonna happen. If we take a scroll through Amazon for 144 hertz monitors, here you can see that every single monitor here that's under 200 bucks is only up to 24 inches, so we're already getting more screen real estate for our money. Next up we have response time, and there's really only one thing that beats two millisecond, one millisecond obviously, but for someone like me, and chances are probably like you, unless if you're a super competitive eSport athlete, we're not gonna notice a difference. A two millisecond response time is plenty fast enough for most people, including myself, and I had absolutely no problem playing online competitive shooters with this super fast TM panel. Speaking of which, the one negative here, or possibly a positive, is that it's indeed a TM panel, so we are losing a little bit of color accuracy. The viewing angles aren't that bad in my opinion. There's a little greenish tint that happens when viewing it from the side, but it's obviously not as good as a sexy IPS display that you find in more expensive monitors. Next up we have FreeSync and I was pleasantly surprised that the FreeSync range is from 40 hertz all the way up to the full 144 hertz. I have a $600 gaming monitor behind the camera over there and the FreeSync range isn't even that big so this is definitely a huge plus. Another plus is that I did successfully get this monitor working with G-Sync. This is an officially supported G-Sync monitor but if you enable FreeSync in the menu settings and then open up the Nvidia control panel you do indeed get the option to turn on G-Sync and it worked pretty well with my GTX. 1660 Ti that I use for testing. And to wrap up the performance and specs part of this review, this gaming monitor is also rocking a modest 1000 to 1 contrast ratio and a max brightness of 400 nits. Before moving on from performance, I just want to emphasize how much bang for your buck you're getting with the specs that I just listed. I'll admit, a couple of weeks ago I wasn't super up to date on the latest market trends for gaming monitors under $200 but it was very quick and easy to realize that this is one of the best options out there. If I had to pick another one to choose from, I'd probably go with the BenQ Zowie XL 2411P, but like I said earlier, this one is only 24 inches and those bezels look like they're from 10 years ago. Moving on to the physical part of this review and the build quality, here's where things aren't nearly as impressive. Nothing on it is actually bad, but you can definitely 
definitely tell that you're paying purely for performance with this monitor. First up, we have this stand, and unfortunately, this stand only allows you to vertically tilt your monitor. This may or may not be a big deal to some of you, but the monitor actually does have a vase amount if you need some better adjustment, which is a really nice option to have. As far as ports go, the D2719 HDF is rocking one DisplayPort 1.2, which you'll need to use if you're rocking adaptive sync up to a full 144 Hz, one HDMI 2.0, and other than that, there's just a headphone and USB ports. Next up, we have the bezels, and this is honestly one of my favorite features outside of the performance for this monitor. For the past couple of years, Dell has been consistently making their monitors with the larger bezel on the bottom and then the super small ones on the side and top, and I just think it looks super clean and modern. This also brings me to the actual display, and I really like how it's a matte display so you don't get a ton of reflections when using this monitor, and it makes it way less painful to shoot B-roll for. I kinda have a feeling that I'm gonna be featuring this monitor in some upcoming full setup guides, so I'm definitely happy with this feature. There's also an integrated speaker on the back of the monitor, which does sound pretty decent Decent, it actually gets plenty loud enough so you can comfortably listen to some dialogue like a YouTuber talking like I am right now, but it's not going to be the best experience for listening to music, but I wouldn't expect it to at this price point. And finally, to wrap up this review, we have the on-screen display menu, and I'm not sure what you guys will really think about this. Here as I'm scrolling through the menus, you can quickly see that there's really not a ton of options, and you don't get nearly the customization that you normally would with some other monitors. For me personally, this isn't really a big deal at all, as I could still change the most important settings like the scene and the RGB colors. I actually think it's kind of an advantage to have a super clean and minimal menu setting, but I have a feeling that a lot of you aren't going to be thinking the same way. Overall though, I absolutely can't believe how much value you're getting out of the Dell D2719HGF, and at this point I'm kind of scared that you might think I'm getting paid to make this video. Just to be completely transparent, I did buy this monitor with my own money and I have no affiliation with Dell. If you use my Amazon links down in the description, I do get a small kickback just like normal. But yeah, I'm just super happy with this purchase and I have a feeling that a lot of you budget gamers would really like this model. Well, that wraps up my best sub $200 gaming monitor video. And as always, drop a comment down below about what you're thinking about this one or what monitor you wanna see me review next. After that, feel free to head on over to one of these two videos if you haven't seen them yet and definitely hit that subscribe button because coming up next, we're checking out a very, very interesting case. You don't wanna miss that video.